So I have this really cool idea on how to combine command trucks with spawning. And it's not entirely my idea. I got this idea from talking to players on Discord and on YouTube comments. And one of the players called Emperor, he said that he suggested that players shouldn't be able to spawn on all cap zones. And another player said that attackers should have something to attack when they attack a town. Like some physical object. And then I thought, how about combining that with command trucks? And, and here's the idea. Okay, so let's imagine your team has Tyrone and the enemy is about to attack on that direction. Now, the only way for the owner of a town or a cap zone to, get, to activate spawning, they would have to get a command truck from the main base, drive it there, like this one, and deploy it somewhere in the town. That's what already changed a few things in the game. So the attacking team now has a physical object they can attack to break the defender spawn capabilities, so attack will go easier. Because if, this, if the spawn capability is gone, the de defender has to get defenders in from, from the next time. And for the defender, they have an incentive to put the command truck somewhere in the town where it can't be easily found. Also, the attacker can decide before they attack the town to scout the place with skilled players or scouts, and perhaps sneak in and use explosives to destroy the truck. And that would tie the uh, Special Forces gameplay into conflict mode. Because currently, Special Forces or Explosives gameplay, it has a very narrow use in the game. It's mostly used to um, ambush trucks on the roads in some back road driving from rear areas, or perhaps sneaking into a less guarded base and putting explosive on a truck. And the, the idea could further be scaled. Instead of just having a command truck, you could have a command, smaller command vehicle, like a command USA. And I think um, armies have something like that, command vehicles of different types. And um, if, for example, you would have a command USZ, then you could put that and hide it in, in a garage in the town. Or you could um, use the, the backpack radios. So they're, so they're like a command truck, however, it, it's a soldier carrying it. And that soldier has to be in the town for the spawn to be active. However, he has to be kept away from direct combat, because if he dies, the, the, um, the command capability from, from the radio backpack he carries should automatically delete itself. So it's like a frontline command that has to be close to combat, but he still has to keep some distance to it. And on a strategic layer, that would create a team play magnet, because players would want to keep safe the command truck, or the command vehicle, or the command player. And the player who is the command backpack guy, or the command truck driver, he has a more responsibility of keeping the spawn alive. And the cool thing is here, it's not like in squad and other games, where it's somewhere in the bush next to the town. It, it must be inside the town. It cannot be outside of the town. And the last strategic point would be that players would have to make the decision. They could put a spawn truck into every town to activate every town they have, but then they run the risk of, first of wasting supply slot if the town is needed for spawning, and second, if the town doesn't have many players in them, then um, it's easy to get attacked by a single player with a set of explosives just sneaking in and destroying it. So players would, would have to concentrate on two or three larger towns, and it would be a natural magnet for players to protect that thing. So they would gather around that thing. Then you have that, I think that desired team play of players working together more. And defenders could also decide to put more than one command truck into a town and stack it with more trucks. So un un until all command trucks are destroyed, spawning is, is available. And that would... On a strategic level, it would fortify the town against enemy attacks. 